Welcome to the first video on Paul's brand new channel and this first video is about making electromagnets. So the first thing you did Paul earlier was you heated three pieces of steel didn't you? Yes we heated three pieces of mild steel up uh, to anneal them. That's the black core that you can see in this bobbin here which is the rest of it's 3D printed. So the black core is the mild steel that's being annealed. So I'll just show a short video clip that we recorded earlier today. So what have you got in here, Paul? Uh, these are what we're going to make the electromagnets out of. Three pieces of steel bar, we've just annealed them. And they're just quite hot at the moment, so they're going to cool down slowly. So what did you heat? Is wow, I can feel that from here. I can feel the heat from here. So what did you heat them up with? Uh, blow lamp outside. So about eight to nine hundred degrees centigrade. This ceramic blanket. How long did it take to heat those pieces of steel to red hot? About ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. So they're going to cool down slowly, and apparently this improves the uh, magnetic properties when you make your electromagnets. Um, I don't know how marginal it is, or but seeing as it's fairly easily done, I thought we may as well so do it. So can you actually feel heat through the? You can, can't you? Yeah, it's seeping out slowly. Yeah. So that was the first thing you did, wasn't it, to anneal them? Yep, and then we put a bit of masking tape on to protect the copper wire, just a couple of turns. And then we start winding the coil, which is a long and tedious process. Um, I have done it by drill before, but it's difficult to get it neat, the turns pile up. So these have been wound by hand and there's probably about, well, this one's in the process of being wound. Mm -hmm. And aimed to get about 800 turns on there, and this one's been wound and completed and terminated. And I think you actually tested this one that's complete, didn't you, Paul? Yeah, that's, so I measure the resistance after I've wound the cap coil so that um, I know how much current it's going to consume. So this will probably take about 2 amps when it's connected to 12 volts. So it's like a 24 watt power draw for the duration that it's on. Uh, and yeah, they, they're probably the strongest ones I've made yet for this sort of thing. And I think it's because all the turns are side by side and neat. That's, uh, you know, if you, if you take your time, and you've got patience to do it by hand, uh, you can make a better electromagnet than using a drill. 